Hello. Oh my. Let's take a deep breath here. Breathe in through your nose. Hold your heart. The world is heavy. Let's release all of our tension through our breath right now. Here we go. Another deep breath in. Let it out. Ah. One more. Make it loud. Ah. Feels so good to like let it out. There's a lot of stress right now. I know everybody's feeling it. But I also would like to just bring some peacefulness and uh, this is my new prayer corner. Yay! Got my blessed mother, candle, my beautiful flowers from Drew. I uh, completely changed around my entire apartment uh, the other day after an elevated energy class. I was just so motivated. And it felt so good. And I, every single class I was taking, I was looking underneath the couch and I would see like toys. And one day I found like a rotten apple that was like mushy. How long does an apple have to sit there for that? So I'm like, so I went off and I cleaned up my whole house. Everything got swept and moved and ah. So now this is like the area for my prayer corner so um so I wanted to do a Jesus calling today because we haven't done Jesus calling in a while and I um I had put it away and I was like in all my moving and like what did I do with that and I haven't read it in a while I'm like Lord help me find Jesus calling so I'm like, where would it be where would it be I'm just gonna walk around and finally I found it actually in the bedroom um, next to Rudy's ashes so it's a good place to be anyway okay as we as we come into the next couple of weeks here um, for for me for the healing of the grief of losing Rudy I'm gonna try to come and do the prayer corner every every day, every other day, um, just to connect to the Holy Spirit, honor, honor Rudy's life, and, um, you know, ask the Lord for some peace. You know, he promises perfect peace, so he also says, ask and you shall receive. So, I'm asking. All right, so let's say, St. Our Father, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Amen. Okay, Lord, we are looking for your word today. Holy Spirit to come upon us, all of us today, and particularly in this moment, to hear what you have to say. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Before time began, I knew you. For years, you swam around in the sea of meaninglessness, searching for love, hoping for hope. All the time I was pursuing you, aching to embrace you in my compassionate arms. When time was right, I revealed myself to you. I lifted you out of the sea of despair and set you down on a firm foundation. Sometimes you felt naked, exposed to the revealing light of my presence. I wrapped a robe around you, my robe of righteousness. I sang you a love song whose beginning and end are veiled in eternity. 
I infused meaning into your mind and harmony into your heart. Join me in singing my song. Together we will draw others out of the darkness. The Lord appeared to us in the past saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with loving kindness. Jeremy 31, 3. I love that one. I delight greatly in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation and arrayed me in a robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom adorns his head like a priest, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. Isaiah 61, 10. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of the darkness and into his marvelous light. And maybe that's what this is all about. You know, we have to trust in God. We have to trust in God. I'm going to read that last one. That was Peter. To nine. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of the darkness and into his marvelous light. Go towards his marvelous light. Here is where we get the perfect peace when we are when we stop all the talking in our own mind and let the light God like just there are so many things out of our control right now and anger and violence and hurtfulness um, and you know it's from the devil he wants that don't give it to him go towards the light go towards God his map his his marvelous light but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of the darkness and into his marvelous light. <sighs> Let's take another deep breath here, fully expanding through into your belly, like a belly breath. Here we go, ready? diamonds are we have three diamonds and it is our hara which is a little bit below our belly button so your belly button's here go ahead and place your your hands right there okay and that's our hara um you can hover which is you know maybe like an inch or two away or you can place your hands on, on your body as well okay we're gonna close our eyes and you're just gonna feel the energetic connection, okay? Feel it, then you can move up to your heart. Oh, so heavy on our hearts. And after we spend time there, let's move up to our third eye, our intuition. connection you can move back down to your heart connected balancing deep breath in and then bringing it back 
back down to your hara. Take a deep breath in here. And release. While you have your eyes closed, I want you to think of any place in your body that you may be experiencing pain. This can be emotional pain. So maybe we hold our heart here. Uh, or maybe it's actually a physical pain in your body. I want you to place your hands on it. First, let's rub them together. And wherever your pain is, if you don't have any pain, then just enjoy maybe holding your heart or your stomach or your heart. Up. Get it warm and then find the place that is giving you pain. For me, in fact, it is my ankle. So I'm gonna give some Reiki love to my ankle right now. We're gonna keep our eyes closed and we're gonna feel the energetic vibrations through your hands going towards whatever part of the body is needing your energy. I want you to think of a white light circling this part of your body and shining so brightly that it hits every crevice, every shadow. Nothing is left dark. Whatever part of this body it is healed. Think of it that way. Send it love, purest form of light and love. Let's take a couple of minutes or let's take three seconds here. Really visualizing the healing, sending it beautiful white light. Jesus Calling was really, really awesome. So I'm not going to like add the angel card too. I'm just going to like leave it at this. I hope you guys have a super awesome, beautiful, amazing day.